in a world searching for gaming knowledge comes the man, the myth, a legend in his own mind, Critical. Welcome back guys and gals, Critical here. Today I'm bringing an episode of Subsistence on my softcore playthrough. And I was working on my planter and I saw these hunters getting ready to attack. Now, I was trying to pass the day until the morning to bring you guys in, but if these guys are going to, oh, look at that. If these guys are going to attack, then, well, I need to deal with them. That's just how it is. Oh, he ducked just at the last second. You little. Come on, where are you? Where are you? Oh, yeah, no helmet yet. <laughs> I love him with the helmets. Step out. He's got a bow. I'm just going to keep moving. go. Come on, duck. I don't even want to duck. Ah, I missed his head. Ah, I hate wasting supplies now. Ugh. Ah! I got a hit. Step out. Step out. I hate how the shotgun makes you bleed from that far away. Come on. The bow arrow, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm fine with, but the shotgun. That was, once again, blind shooting. All right, well, I wanted to bring you guys in. I, I was trying to pass the night. I didn't want to bring you guys in for that, but since they were coming to attack me, I figured I'd, I'd get, the, get it on recording. Blah, 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 blah. I can't talk. That's right, folks. This is how we're gonna spend the rest of the day. Oh no, I won't do that, I promise. That would be funny though if I did an entire episode like that. I am not going to waste a bandage, and I am not going to heal that damage. You can see I've made changes to the docks. I'll show that to you later, probably first thing in the morning. I'm gonna grab a few supplies in the area. Did I get three boxes? I'm not sure if I got it. I think his box might be behind the foot. Ah, yep, there it is. I was looking for it. I knew I wasn't getting them all. All right. Uh, Wolf wants to play, huh? All right, well. Come here, dig it. That's right. Come here. There we go. Gotta find that sweet spot. The sweet carving spot on a wolf. God, that sounds weird, doesn't it? All right. I am going to spend the night, past the night, I guess is the way to say it, and I'll bring you guys back when the sun comes up. See you then. Welcome back, guys and gals. All right. The night has passed, and there's our base. Here's the dock, and what I have done is I put a fishing box out here with tackle, my rod, and supplies for fishing. Now, the reason I've got the door and these walls is so that I can sit here and fish, and if a hunters attack my base, they won't be shooting at me. Now, if they know I'm here, they're still going to hit it in the walls. I can fight from here if I want on either side. But it just gives me a little bit of a protected area. And I did put a light out here. There's a BCU just over there. And my uh, it just barely overlaps. I, I set that perfect. And uh, where's... I gotta get it, find it now. Right there. So this light actually makes... I can fish right here perfectly. It actually works pretty good in this spot. But I've got two railings. I'm gonna go and put these on. This is what I was just about to do. Uh, when I saw those hunters come in, so that's why I had to uh, quickly log out and then uh, log back in and get ready to record because I can't pause this world. Because this is my co-op world. But one of my viewers asked, can a burnt liver spoil? So we're going to carry that with us and see what happens. I'm pretty sure it turns into the green mush, just like everything else. But we will find out. All right, let's go put these railings in. That's replanted. Cool. I went ahead and 
killed off both of my chickens because they both reached level 10. So I am going to be on the hunt for new chickens. And I've also made all those premium feathers. I'm up to 30, I think it's like 33 premium feathers. Not enough to start carrying them full time, but enough that I could pull them out if I need to. Ooh, this one's taking some damage. They're attacking this area because of that BCU for some reason. Now, they, they don't always attack their primary BCU now, so I guess that's why. I'll take, let's see, I'll, mm, shall I'll eat a piece of fish before I head out. And then eat a blueberry. Yep, that fish didn't fill me up completely. That's actually perfect. And I've got a fresh piece of fish to take with me. Nice. Now we need electrical components very, very badly. We have used up almost all the, well, just about every electrical component that I have. So any resource we can get our hands on is, is good. And I do need to get some more grubs. I've got a few tackle left over. But basically, every day you're out, you need to you, know, you need to be grubbing it. Got to grab some grub. And I like this. This base is actually really nice because I've got there's a tr couple trees over there, but there I got a tree right here, basically my backyard. One right there, and then one over there. So I can hit three of the big trees really quick and get three grubs every morning without wasting too much time. That's convenient. Very convenient. And I'm right on the edge of the water, too, so I can go fishing easily. Yeah, you can't beat it. I still think Cold Games needs to figure out a way so that we can... Uh, so that we can harvest, you know, farm grubs in some way where we're not running around and hitting trees. But it does give me an excuse to get a lot of wood. And I'm all about getting wood. There's two, yeah, I think there's trees over there. Oh, scrap metal. I need to grab that, too. I need scrap metal so I can make premium arrows, because every premium arrow is like scrap. Now, I did get attacked by another hunter band last night, but it was in the middle of the night. They have the distinct advantage. Oh, 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 where are you? I guess he was behind me, because I don't know where he was at. Ah, hit. Oh, and I missed with the shotgun. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Now, now, normally, I would heal. But not anymore. I would have used a med kit already. Not gonna do it. Wouldn't be prudent at this juncture. Thought I saw something in the trees over there. Through the trees in the distance, we spy nothing because I was saying things again. A Heineman in his natural environment. Yeah, there's four big trees right around my house. I hope the hunters don't ever, you know, regular hunters don't put a beast. If they do, one thing I'm thinking of doing, and it might be crazy, but I think I'm thinking of putting a a curved foundation, you know, as the smallest I can, near every one of the big trees. Because the last time I was setting up in this world, this particular world, I found out that a foundation, just a foundation, no BCU, will stop hunters from spawning in an area. And it actually stopped all, you know, my two of my hunter bases from actually spawning in, period. If that's the case, then I want to put a foundation near each one of these big trees so that hunters can't spawn near them. And that would include rogue hunters shouldn't be able to spawn near them. I mean, right, basically right on top of them. And it would give me a chance. I've got four grubs. Awesome. I didn't take that much time. So now we're not going to get any more wood. I'm done. I'm done beating the log. Okay. Now we're going to head out and gather uh, supplies and hopefully get some electronical uh, electronics because I am definitely hurting. This base, they attacked me last night. I killed them, but they attacked before the sunset, so they already respawned. 
I was gonna go break into their place if there was, but they attack. Uh, they would have responded already, so. With health kits costing more, I don't need to encourage them to attack. They're gonna attack enough on their own, I'm pretty sure. They don't need my encouragement, well, let's just be honest. Oh my god. Whoever, yeah, this is a really good spot. Or city up here. I mean, it is one of the bigger rocks in the, uh, on the map. Uh, zinc, right? Yeah, okay, I'll take it. And this is zinc too. Might as well. Worst case scenario, I'll process it and I'll turn it into mass. So it's not, holy crud. Now, potassium really is right now useful. I'm hoping Cold Games adds more recipes for potassium. I hope. Because basically the potassium I'm picking up is, it's not even really worth the mass. It's not worth my time even for mass. That's pretty bad. I think I want to head Huh? Wait a second. I'm confused. I'll take the copper, but wasn't I just on this rock? Did I just run around the rock and get... Because the fence line used to be so much closer to this area that maybe that's what was confusing me. Yeah, that's what... Okay. I was like, what? He added a an, uh, another uh, cave formation? But no, I just ran around in a circle. Whoa, the new tr the, the new trees, they definitely confuse me. They're confusing me. Cold Games is playing tricks on my delicate person. Go growl at somebody that actually cares. I don't need your meat, but I will skewer you and butcher your butt if you give me too much trouble. Now, as you can see, I've already he uh, healed up almost all that. So. Unless I'm actually facing hunters. Oh, block the box. And of course, on the on the playthrough, I don't have a key for. I'm not... Uh, I've already killed them. If they're not here... Okay. They didn't spawn it. I'm gonna go ahead and break into their place and grab this ore. And I'll consider the lockbox. Uh, I'm kind of low on supplies, but breaking into their place might give me some supplies. So it's a win-win. All right, I'm gonna break into this and I'll bring you guys back when we're inside. See you then. All right, welcome back guys and gals. We're just about to break into this place. I'm glad I came over here because it's going to be some pretty good here. Awesome. And you can see that. Oh, I got a hunter jacket. Tearing the rags. That's awesome. Not, not too bad, really. I mean, I got a grenade. 19 nail. I'll get some free oil and free ash from that fire. And that's it. That's all they're ever going to be able to get. That's why this place needs to get blown up. It needs to get blown up soon. <gasps> chicken! Come here, chicken! Come here, chicken! Chicken's trying to play with him going, There's a lock crate! Leave me alone! Go for the lock crate! I'm like, No, I want my chicken! Chicken over lock crate. Any day. Alright, let's run the... Let's run the clucker back to the house before it dies. I can clean out my inventory a little bit and... I'll think about it. You know, if we're going back to the house, I'll probably make a pick real quick. I know right where the where the lock chest is. We're close enough to run back really quick. I'll probably break down and do it. Uh, let me go ahead and eat, and then get some food in me. Back to the house anyways. There we go. So I'll grab some Fresh. Now, what I'm doing when it comes to food, now I have a refrigerator going, and you can stack so much food in there. All the food that I gather and cook, I'm going to be sticking right into the refrigerator. I'm going to leave mostly at, you know, at night when things are quiet. If I'm not fishing, I'm going to be cooking food. 
and just storing it in the refrigerator so that, and instantly storing it in the refrigerator. So when I take it out, it's like I took it out of the fire and I've got a good 20 minutes on it. Doing good. Ah, should we just chop some fertilizer in there real quick? I already had fertilizer on me, but I am an overachiever. I wanted more. Let's go down here. I'm hoping in the future that cold games will make it so bird fertilizer, you know, bird poo, is a better fertilizer to the point where your crops, your crops grow faster if you're using bird poop instead of fertilizer. I think that would be an awesome way to handle it because then it it, it makes you want to use bird poop manure because your stuff's gonna your your plants are gonna grow faster. You can harvest them sooner. I mean that just makes perfect sense in my opinion. Liver hasn't spoiled yet. Not that I expected it would, but soon. All right, I need that. Planks, and I need iron. Iron planks are getting a little bit low. I'm gonna have to uh, start. Actually, I am going right now. It's only 53, but we'll start it. Start working that uh, beautiful, beautiful iron. Need all that I can get. Grow, chicken. Grow for me. I know I'm losing it. Actually, let's be honest. I already lost it. It's just a, it's a gradual breakdown. All right, let's get this lock crate. Let's see what we get. You know, might be a good lock crate. I'm hoping for it. Now, I still need to upgrade my bow one more level. So, after this lock pick, everything else is going to be put into getting my bow to level 4. Once my bow is at level 4, then I'll start considering... Oh, chicken, another... I don't know. I'm not going to run back immediately. I was just home, but I am going to grab the chicken. Shut up, wolf. In fact... Go, run away, leave me alone, thank you. All right, lockbox just over the hill. Or, no, oh, yes, it's still there. I have yet to have one of these despawn when I was unlocking it, but I have been told that it happens. Um, you know, it has three sinew in it, which is always nice. I did get eight iron fragments back, so that's good. I mean, it's not a bad one, and I got three electrical components. So it wasn't a bad lock crate. I got sinew, plates, and decent armor. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Not bad at all. And I even got a couple cotton seeds in it, too. As well as three tomato seeds. So, all in all, I'm actually... I'm pleased with it. It was it was adequate. I mean, I'm not going to go to the top of the, of the mountain and go, Oh, my God. I just got the greatest locked crate in the history of subsistence. But I'm not going to sit there and cry in my Wheaties, either. It wasn't a really bad one. Actually, the shotgun shell is really nice, too. That is still my primary weapon when it comes to dealing with animals. If, if I get on target and don't blast their backside instead of blasting them right in the head. There it is, okay. All right, I want to, I really want to go check out the the river. I want to see if there's anything happening along. Oh, hi, Mr. Bear. Can I get this lockbox? This building supplies container. There's somebody on the forums that's constantly berating us for calling them crates. Damn it, I'm gonna call it crates to the day I die, which could be any second if I'm not careful with that bear. Oh, oh, oh. Rabbit, run, rabbit. I'll come hunt you later. Could have sworn I just heard uh, a hunter reacting to my presence. Must have been my own footsteps scaring me. It's pretty bad. I'm jumping at my own shadows and my own and my own. Uh, my old footprints, my own footfalls. 
the sound of my own feet. But yeah, I want to see if there's a hunter base possibly spawned basically in this area. I've got one across the water from me on the peninsula, one behind us over by the uh, my old lake I used to live out in season two, the one we just raided. Grab it real quick. Like I said, I can process it and turn it into mass. It's especially it's something I need to do anyways. Ooh. I'm close to the house and I've seen chicken. Uh, chicken. Oh, come here, chicken. Don't run from me, chicken. Don't run toward anything either. Hopefully one of them survived until I get a chance to get to the house. Yeah, they have, both have a good chance. I won't keep both of them alive, but one for sure. All right. Yeah, I wanted to see if there's any action going on over here outside of the the hunters that I'd already seen on this peninsula. I see a crate and medical loot plants. But I'm definitely still enjoying the update. Now, let's be honest. I'm not gonna say I cheated, but I knew what was coming, so I got prepared. So I'm not having the issue of being extreme. It's very rare to get planks just in a crate. So that is an odd grab, something to be noted. But I didn't have the issue where I have no health kits and, you know, I have a good stockpile, about 30 health kits. 30 health kits on the, no, down to like 20. Yeah, 20 health kits on the one playthrough. On this one, I think I've got an extra 10, and that's about it. A stack and a half, so I got 15 extra. But once those are gone, I'm at the mercy of the new crafting, which is why I like to fish at night and then turn my fish into oil. I would definitely say the small fish, if you get pick up a small fish, unless you're desperate for food. Oh, who's a cat? Must be a rope hunter base. Okay. Or did the hunters from the peninsula swim over to attack? There's a wolf in the water. Okay, which side are you guys attacking from? Behind the base? No. In front of the base. Double grenade. Oh, come on. Already saw me. I think that's kind of a bogus. Look out, look at that, look at that. A moving target and they're hitting it, hitting me continuously. That's bogus. Once again, the mighty shotgun that, that automatically makes you bleed. Come here, get out of the, get out of the tree. I'm tired of this already. I mean, it's continuous. Nope. No, don't you dare think about running off. Stop. Stop. He's running. Look at him. <laughs> Shot in the back. Shot in the back by Buford T. Tannen. Over a matter of eighty dollars. All right, what was that? An egg. Yeah. I'm hungry. Let's eat. All right, got an egg. I'm not going to eat five. I think it would be a waste. I think three would be a proper amount. Cool. And like I said, I'm going to try 
I wasted a lot of supplies. I'm gonna try not to heal for a few minutes. And there is an arrow in my house. On the side. Oh, a couple arrows. Holy crap, I did some damage. Jeez. Alright, that's gonna get toned down. That was that was a single attack. That was that that was one attack. Oh my lord. Oh, another arrow. That was just two guys. There was no damage to that before I left. And I came back and interceded in the attack and look at all the damage they did. Oh, I got some armor plates. I know what I'm gonna be doing. Ugh. No, no, let's drop this stuff off. Let's grab my hammer. Do I have any more plates? I do. Seven. And I am just going to go ahead and upgrade this. It'd be cheaper to upgrade it than it would be to repair it and or replace it. And because this is up high, I guess take it. That's why that's getting damaged. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna upgrade that wall or not, but I'm gonna have to fix the door. Actually, <laughs> I think it's be better just to make a new door. That door's so broken as it is. And, and nails. Oh, one chicken died. Let me get this other chicken in here real quick before I forget about it. All right. Ooh. I almost forgot about my chicken. We can't have that, can we? And then you need to be deleted. Because you're not worth it. All right, guys and gal. This is tacked on at the end of that video. I spent the entire night. I've been taking care of stuff around the house. I didn't get any fishing done, unfortunately. But this liv this burnt liver didn't spoil yet. So it might actually be that burnt meat doesn't actually spoil. Maybe the burnt livers don't spoil, which means you can save them. I mean, you can save them raw in a freezer or refrigerator, you're fine. But I guess you can burn them and leave them in a box. And a so far, it hasn't spoiled. It should have spoiled by now. All right, guys and gals, my time is up. I've been critical. This has been subsistence on my softcore playthrough. I hope you guys have enjoyed this content, and if you have, drop a like and consider subscribing. I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. Bye.